Hey guys, it's Matt Griffin. Um, so I decided to make this video just because lately I've been feeling a little frustrated um, with my entire life. And I think it's mainly because I've been feeling very lonely and I, I don't like it. I never liked being alone. Um, what I mean is, like, I have my family. I'm with my family now. And that's fine. But it's not the same as having a life partner. So, let me start off with this. I've been single my entire life. Like... Uh, up until a couple of years ago where I started dating guys and it took a long time to get to that point but before that I wasn't really um, interested in relationships so I never dated in high school I never dated in college so after college I kind of moved to LA and decided to start dating and I decided to date guys whatever but the problem is I'm so far behind on the whole relationship um game and idea that I tend to be a lost puppy I tend to make a lot of mistakes and kind of it pushes me back because generally I'm not a very patient person. I try to be patient, but you know, there are some things that are just like, oh my gosh, like why is why hasn't it happened to me yet, you know? There are were guys that I dated and I've, you know, either they dumped me or I dumped them. And I'm pretty sure I only dumped, like, one or two guys. And I dated at least a dozen. I don't know. I'm guessing. But it's frustrating to know that none of those dates worked out and it sucks when you try to get to know someone and then you still end up making mistakes I just it it's not so much like you're hurting anyone but it's just, for me, it's kind of holding back what I truly wanted and also being nice to people where, you know, it's it's good to be nice, but you kind of, you're nice to that person because you don't want to be selfish when you should be selfish or you're selfish when you shouldn't be selfish. So... It, it just sucks because, you know, with someone who isn't very patient in the first place, you're making these mistakes that constantly push you back. You're learning from them, but it's still like a long, long, long process. And you, for some reason, are not meeting the right person. And... That is what I've been going through. I sometimes I just feel vulnerable and want to be with someone, and it still ends up being a mistake. It, and the mistake just kind of sets everything else back. You know, I was in L.A. for three years and then I just kind of, 
left and came back to the place where I left to go L to L.A. <laughs> so, it, I don't know if running away really helped me, but it just sucks when you're trying to find comfort and trying to find someone to relate to and you can't do it. As time goes by, everything gets pushed back. And the people that you would talk to are parting ways, going off on their own path. So they become less available and all of a sudden they're gone. You can't even talk to a friend about the things that you're going through. Or it's very limited and it's just me personally I'm constantly I, I constantly have to make decisions on my own I constantly have to think for myself which isn't bad but when you're put in situations where you could make a mistake that could last your entire life <laughs> you're going to want a second opinion or someone there to hold you back to say, no, don't do it. But as you get older, those people aren't there anymore. So you constantly have to think for yourself and that's what's frustrating. That's why, personally, I've been so craving... A relationship because I'm tired of trying to do everything myself. I'm tired of trying to pretend like I'm okay, trying to take my mind off of whatever is going on in my life for a couple of hours by watching <laughs> movies and TV shows and just distracting myself from my thoughts. But in the end, when all that stuff is over, I'm still left with thinking about the same stuff trying to accept the things I can't change and trying to solve problems that really cannot be solved immediately. So that's what I've been going through. I just feel like I'm getting too old to be alone all the time. I'm 27 and I see my friends on Facebook, they're buying houses now and I'm still just, I'm nowhere near that. I went to LA to be an actor and I'm seeing other actors that I've met getting roles in movies and TV shows now and I'm still stuck struggling and I think it's because my mind isn't where it needs to be it's constantly overwhelmed with all these things that I have to do in order to take care of myself in order to live the life in this country in the career that I chose and still trying to find happiness and it's it it sucks because I can't do it by myself I can't
I don't think a lot of my old friends understand or could even fathom what it's like being at this age, living this life of constant instability. Oh, because I'm still waiting for a person to just settle down with. It's like I can't be settled down myself because what's the point? <laughs> I, there's no one there to tie me down, so why should I settle down in one place? At least that's my way of thinking. I can't... I can't do... <laughs> being, I, I can't be in one place without a very good reason. And it, it doesn't help that I crave attention that I want to build, have someone that I can build a house with, or to cook for, or clean after, or to talk to, to help them, to have them help me. Like, I want all those things, but yet I can't seem to find the person willing to do that for me. There were guys that I liked that I found out recently they have boyfriends and I'm, I'm just wondering, like, <sighs> what did I do wrong? I keep blaming myself thinking that maybe I should have just told them the truth and said that I wanted a boyfriend, but, you know, that's something that people are, people like me are scared to say because you don't know how they'll react, especially in the gay community, because <laughs> all that stuff is, like, a lot of it's just hooking up. And personally, I don't want my life to be like that. It gets old. Even dating, dating person after person gets old. That's not the life I, that I want to live. I just want to be loved. I want a boyfriend. I want a life partner. I maybe have kids. I don't know. <laughs> but... It's just, like, I can't even get to that. Like, it's, just imagine being like this without kids. If I had kids and I'm still by myself, then it would be even more overwhelming. No one deserves to be alone. No one... No, that's, that was the point of my video. No one deserves to be punished. It just seems like... When you try to love someone, there's still a risk involved. Is this the right person? Is this person even worth... My time? And... As far as my life, they weren't worth the time because apparently I'm being punished for it. And one of the worst parts about it is that patience in itself is a punishment. Constantly have to wait for something to come along is a punishment.
I am just sick and tired of not getting what I need in my life. Yes, we have our preferences, but, you know, we also have our exceptions. And even the exceptions don't even work out. I understand we can't ex we can't get exactly what we want when we want it, but even when I settle for the bare minimum, it still never works out. It's still a risk involved with it. Why? I just want to be happy. I want to have a life partner where it's just it's just us working it out. That's what I do. If the person isn't willing to reciprocate that effort, then <laughs> it was a waste of time. Unfortunately. So that's where I am. That's where I'm at. Constantly wondering why my time is being wasted. I think I deserve better. I think I deserve another chance.